hello guys welcome back to the channel and this is the second video where we are teaching on how to integrate such a problem without the use of bypass using a very very easy method that is reliable and that is more quicker than bypass so thank you so much for showing up i hope you enjoyed the video so now we proceed with our workings and we have a different scenario that we are looking at so let's say you ask to integrate x to the power 4 lin x dx right so as usual we don't want to use by parts so we are going to use our method we are going to say differentiate integrate so you make a table and you are going to select which one goes for differentiation and which one goes for integration so from the first example we were looking for a part of the expression that can be differentiated to zero that is the one that we considered for differentiation and in this example if we base our methodology or if we base our calculations using the first scenario we are going to consider x to the power 4 as our differential and lean x is our integral but the problem is if you integrate lean x to integrate lean x you need to do by parts and this is what we want to run away from we want to avoid by parts so we have no option than differentiating lean x and integrating x to the power 4 so we are going to differentiate lean x we get 1 over x we are going to integrate x to the power 4 we get 1 over 5 x to the power 5 our plus negative plus negative the alternate right so now if i continue differentiating 1 over x i'm going to get something more complex than 1 over x so i will not be going anyway so now in this scenario you need to note that your stopping point is a point whereby the contents of the rows this is row one row two so if you reach a point or if you reach a row in which you can multiply the contents like this 1 over x times 1 over 5 x to the power 5 and get something that can be easily integrated without the use of by parts then no you need to stop if you get to a point whereby if you multiply the contents of a row and you get something that doesn't require by parts to integrate then you know you need to stop so if you integrate 1 over x times 1 over 5 x to the power 5 dx clearly this is 1 over 5 x to the power 4 dx and this doesn't require by parts it's simple integration so you need so that's when you stop so you stop here so this is another scenario different from the first example in this case you are working with the rows you don't need to differentiate to zero right so we are now going to cross multiply as usual we are going to say 1 over 5 x to the power 5 lin x plus now the next thing is to integrate the row this is the row the row in which we stopped so the row we are going to integrate this row we are going to say this is equal to 1 over 5 x to the power 4 dx so integral of x to the power 4 lin x dx that's equal to this so it's now easy you continue 1 over 5 x to the power 5 lin x oh sorry there's a negative here since we are saying negative and positive so it becomes negative so that's negative you integrate this one plus one that's one over 25 x to the power 5 plus c 
so when you reach this point you know that you have completed the integration so this is very simple as compared to by parts by parts will require you a lot of calculations and this is very useful especially when you are in an exam where there is pressure so you can opt to use this simple very very simple method just know that you need to stop when you reach a row in which you can multiply the contents and get something that doesn't require by parts so this is this is it